Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Animalica. I'm the Radio Man 03, and it's awesome to have you along. I'm uh, working my way back through uh, the Corpse Island thing. I went down that route on my own and kind of cleaned out of the loot, and I'm coming back this way. I've left the rocks behind, but you can see stuff is... There's still stuff I haven't picked up yet. Anyways, I came across this thing smoking out here. It's a rusty sword. <laughs> Let's see. It's just sitting out here. Ancient weapon imbued with dark power. Oh, that sounds important. It's only worth 13 gold, but I'm going to hold on to it because I imagine it's probably scarce. That's the first one of those things I've seen anyways. There's some more bones. Uh, well, yeah, I'm just uh, actually working my way back so I can go back to the ranch. I want to do a little bit of building with you guys today. I did a little bit of my own. Just kind of got things kind of mapped out a little bit better and uh, wanted to try a couple of things out. So I thought I'd bring you in. And we'll do a little episode here and see if we can't get something built back at the uh, at the ranch. Right now, I'm just going to kind of finish going through here real quick and just kind of grabbing up the goods. Oh, real quick before I forget about it. Okay, I got my crossbow in my hand. Uh, I guess it would probably work with number one, two. Oh, yeah, there we go. Now, get on your horse. Oh, doesn't work that way with the pistol. Okay, so we got to go the crossbow. We're going to get on the horse. We're going we're gonna to aim with the right right click, and then you can just oh, take it off anyways. And there you go. And you got your cursor on. And that's what was said in the comments, and thank you very much, because yes, it is so much better to be on the horse just riding around and picking things up. So that's how you do it. <sighs> the cursor issue is uh, solved. Hopefully it's something that will just be a, a, a normal thing uh, before for too long, you know? Thank you for that tip, man. I tell you what, that is a huge help. There's just a bunch of stuff kind of growing wild around this area here. Lots and lots of... Oh, my, I just cannot believe how much there is. Every time I come in here to pick stuff up, it's like, oh, my God, I'm still picking stuff up. I tell myself, just go home. And then you're, you're riding along. It's like, oh, no, what? There's this, 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 and this, and blue mushrooms. I found a couple of... I think I found... Was it two new ores? Let's take a look at my inventory. Uh, i got to get up the horse for that, though. Uh, this guy right here, Turquoise. I found Turquoise. There was just one node that I've come across so far. I've picked up a couple of the blue metals. Uh, is there anything else that I came across that I thought was kind of interesting that you guys might find interesting as well if you're new to the game? Uh, I've got a little bit of these guys going on. Not a whole lot. None of the brown mushrooms, though. Got a plant there. We got a couple of sheep. I picked those up over by the ranch. I, I just forgot to take them out of my inventory. And then some miscellaneous stuff. The rusty sword, you guys already saw that as well, so no big deal there. Um, yes, what are you, you're so excited about something. Okay, so I'm going to work my way, uh, again, back to the ranch. I'll bring you back. It looks like it's going to be nighttime here pretty soon. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, I got a ways to go. I got a ways to go. I'm way out here. I had forgotten about that. I do need to sell a few things. I might as well do that while I'm here. Neighbors? You know what? Before I do that, though, let's uh, let's see something real quick, sir. What will you give me for? Hmm. Switch to sell. Switch to no. Yeah, switch to sell. Okay, let's go to gear. Okay, I get ten gold there for that. Now, what do I get? Ten gold for that sledgehammer over here? I'm just curious about this. If it's better to come here or could I just get one of these? It's just 10 gold no matter what. Okay, so I don't necessarily have to come here unless I'm going to buy something. Otherwise, I could just sell the stuff in there, I guess. Uh, possibly. Uh, switch to sell. There we go. I was going to give him that and I was going to give him that. And th uh, no. That, that, that. That, that, and that. I've got tons of crowbars, so I'm going to sell those guys for the gold. There we go. we got a little bit of jingle jangle in our pocket. I think that's good. What does he have for ingredients? One of you had mentioned that you buy the mushrooms sometimes off of the the um, the, sale, the, the uh, trader guy. I see these mushrooms are here. Nature's touch. Nature's gift. I see those. Hmm. I was looking for those little brown mushrooms. Anyways, we made some money. We didn't spend any money. All right, I am going to go ahead and get back to the ranch. Probably sleep the night away, and then I'll take you guys for kind of a walk around the ranch, and we'll take a look at it. 
But right now, yeah, we're going to kick up some dust in town here. And poor old, ugly, bald, one eyed Joe. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Pretty funny name. Okay. Yep. See you later, Penny. Going home. Okay, welcome back. Uh, the house. Let's take a look at the house. What have I done inside our little chateau here? Uh, not too much. I, you know, I was looking for the drink bench that we made. Oh, I know exactly where it is. It's still over there. I've got to bring all the drinks over here. I keep doing that to myself. Uh, so we need to bring the drink bench over here to put the beverages away. I've got him out. Is it? Is it dark? The sun's coming up. Oh, that's the wrong thing. <laughs> there we go. We've got our little guy out here. Uh, the horse, I've now moved over to here. I've done a little more fencing. The dogs are not trapped in a fence. That's just where I parked them, so they weren't in the way. I took the time to take this water trough and smash all this grass away through here so we'd have a clear path in front of our house. I finished the hedge on this side, as you can see, and then we've got some fencing over here. And uh, we can get to this area from, you know, from the front yard here. Just come out the front door and go right in there. So what I was going to do is I was run the fence over to here and then I was actually going to run a fence probably in between the back of this building and that building right there and then that will give us a nice big area where we can turn a few other kind of animals kind of loose and just let them roam about the chickens and the geese are doing just great the way they're doing and this area here in the center I thought about putting Maybe a small horse enclosure in here and having a horse or two kind of in this area. You can see we've got a chicken way out there at the end of the road right now. So I fenced off this area too and I put these guys right here, these trees. And I I actually got rid of all of these, this grass and all of these flowers with that thing. And it just did not seem to uh, work. Let's, uh, let's put the hammer on. So that just didn't seem to, uh, it grew back. Now, I did go to the trader, and I purchased one of those grass eraser things, and I used it, but I don't know if it actually, I think it's actually where he's standing, is where I used it. I meant to buy some more of those. They're like 20 bucks each, and I only got one use out of it, and I don't know if I used it wrong or what, so I feel like I need to buy uh, a few more of them to, you know, see if it's, it's good. Uh, oh, I was working on Advanced Workshop. We are not even close to... Uh, Getting the stuff we need for the advanced workshop. I wonder if I can actually turn that off. Uh, let's see. That's what I was working on next. Is this guy right up here? It's a big. It's a big deal. What I'm having uh, trouble with on this one, where I can't seem to. No, I want that open. Thank you. Uh, the steel ingot. We're good there. Tool set fine. The blue alloy is is a difficult thing. That's a lot of different. Um, uh, ingots mixed together well we could take a look at that cement as well i can't make cement i can buy it and i did buy enough to do this but i so we've got the cement bolts aluminum that we've got uh, the aluminium as well we don't have enough of that uh we're almost there but not quite so i need to find a bunch more cans uh, we've got a vice and then the electronic components were covered there too we've got 30 plus and there, it requires 10 so this blue alloy is what's getting me um Stopping me from moving on to the advanced workbench at the moment. Let's see what we've got in here. This is what we have right now. This is our aluminum 26. We're short four for what we need for that right there. And uh, this give me one more. So we're actually three shy of what we need in order to build the advanced workshop. It's the blue alloy. Uh, let's go take a look at the blue alloy recipe. It's a big one. But I, I put, um, I put uh, Caesar over here. Yeah, he's got a nice little place all to himself. Just all to himself. A little bit of grass there to eat and stuff like that. He's, he's all set. Uh, let's go over to the uh, smithy here. I'm going to make one of those big barns. I want to put a big barn back here behind the smithy so that he could keep, you know, livestock. And that would be, of course, part of his job for the town as well is to have the, uh, you know, that going on. Oh, and, um, well, hold on. Let's look at the blue alloy before I forget. Blue alloy materials. There it is right there. And that's what needs the blue metal. I've got nine right now, the 10 I need, so I can make that. I've, I've got a, a bit of it. Wow, it takes 10. What is, yeah, that's the blue alloy. Uh, silver ingot, titanium ingot, steel ingot, bronze ingot. I think I can make all of these. Gold ingot, I've got that. And the copper ingot, I can do that too. It's this blue metal that's going to get me. So I have to, I have to try to figure out, um, well, I guess I've got the blue metal, right? I could make the blue alloy. 
Is it the blue alloy or blue metal? I need? Oh, I used the press too to make some uh, some coins to go buy some stuff. I had a few uh, gold bars sitting around. I just ran right over the top of that little guy. Uh, let's see. I think it said blue alloy, right? Blue alloy, yeah. So I, you know what? I might be able to make that. I might be able to make that. I'm not sure. But I'll check and see. Uh, in the meantime, I thought um, I wouldn't mind getting that big barn placed and probably doing up some more fences too. What is? Uh, I've got a bunch of stuff in my inventory. I probably should start right here at the metal chest and drop off what we've got so I could get uh, moving with the episode. We'll throw the turquoise in there as well. We've got some metal fragments. And yeah, I need to put you know a bunch of stuff away and uh, get it taken care of. So I'll be right back. No, oh, one other thing too here real quick. I put a little chicken coop down. This is like a miniature little chicken coop. And again, I, I raced the grass here, but it came back. It, uh, it just comes back. Some of the things make the grass go away and some don't. I just noticed that that... It, I, I guess the only thing I've noticed that with is the buildings. Uh, but then I think once if I were to remove the building, I think the grass might come back after I removed it. Otherwise, I'd look for something that I could place through here and, and get that. Anyways, uh, you know. Just stuff. Otherwise, we're just going to have to live with some grass in the yard. Okay, back to putting things away. There's a couple other things I forgot to show you. We've got a second uh, stone storage area because we're running out of room. Uh, at least, you know, it, it appears that we're running out of room. Wow, look at that. That, that That's cement I bought. I, for some reason, I was looking at that going, oh, look at that sleeping bag. <laughs> that's not the case. Uh, and I also put in this guy right here, landscape items. So I go in here and I've got the fiber going in here because it takes a lot of fiber to make some of these plant items. So I do that. Uh, and then of course I've got the fertile soil. So once we get the farms going and stuff, we figure out how we're gonna do farms, we'll do that. Uh, which we can make, if I'm not mistaken, we can make some farms if we needed to. Anyways, I'm just, you know, I just kind of come in here and hang out with the animals and just do my thing. It's pretty nice. Um, am I putting stuff away still? I think I am. Yes, I've got some wood. Oh, and then I moved the wood into here. I thought we'd use this little shed for this. Sometimes uh, this gets a little confused and it's hard to get the uh, cursor to come up uh, because of, I think it's just because it's inside here and fits tightly in there. I think that might be the case there. And then out here I've got the straw and that. And then feathers and everything else is going into this one right here. And this is our kind of our odds and ends and things of that nature right here. Uh, so, nails. We have 263 nails. That is about it. So, we can make more. That's not a big deal. Let me gather up some resources to build with, and then I'll come back, and we'll have a little bit of fun uh, putting some things together on uh, the, the ranch here. We've done some adventuring. We'll, we'll do some of this next. Okay. I'm going to make that big barn. I think that's what I want to do. Um, structures. Nope. Buildings. There we go. Large barn. I'm going to make one of those. We're going to place that back behind the smithy. Let's see how big this guy is. I'm guessing it's probably going to be pretty big. Let's go see. Uh, that probably used up most of my nails. We'll see about some nails out here. I think it's the smithy where I have to make the nails. It seems to make sense to me that that's where it would be. Number six. Uh, okay, you are a sizable building. That's nice. I like that. Okay, good deal. Hmm. Oh, you know what? Maybe back this way. And we can do a uh, fenced-in yard back behind the smithy for this to, uh, you know, be able to... Oh, can I get close enough to... Kind of cool if we could do that. Get a little bit closer like that. Get a little closer. Uh, now, I can't remove that tree, so we're going to have to be careful. We don't want it coming into the building. Um, hmm. <laughs> Maybe we come back a little bit further with it. We could run the fence across the front of the building and then uh, from the back of the barn across. You see, am I kind of going the same direction as this guy right here? If I come up this way... Just want to make sure I've got him at the same angle as this guy, so I don't have a big headache trying to line up the fences. 
And then we've got, looks like a kind of an outside porch, not a porch, but more of a dock area on the right there. Or is that just kind of a, maybe a hitching post there? Not sure. Let's go back onto the road a little bit. I think this would be good. Let's come back this way. Make sure we're lined up here pretty good. I think that looks pretty good. We don't have any tree in the building. Uh, we're going to go back a little further. Maybe we'll get rid of that all that grass right there. Bam, just like that. There we go. Perfect. Uh, we got a little bit of leaf activity going on here. I guess I could move it over just a little bit more. Hmm. What I probably should do is pick it up and set it down right here and clear all this grass out of here. That's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to get it uh, placed just right. But let's see what it looks like anyways. Oh, this looks like it was over here. I didn't realize. Okay, that's fine. We've got, uh, is there, there's no back door on this barn either. It seems so odd to me that there's no back door to the barn. It's usually, you know, you got your animals up front, and you got your feed and hay and your, your little tractor or something parked in the back here, but, uh, it's just a big room. Yeah, wow. Um, this is interesting. Can I put, build stalls in here? I don't know. Is there a way to build stalls in there, or is this just kind of for looks? It's a, it's a great building. It's a nice model. Um, let me know. Oh, sip my coffee real quick. Yeah, it's a very nice model. I like that one. Okay, so we got the bar in there. Um, can I make any fences? Let's take a look. Fences. I've been going with these. I like these a lot. How many can I make? Seven. Do it. Lay them on me. We'll go make some more nails then. Uh, it is making them? Okay. Shows one. Okay. It's almost done. There's my seven. Okay, it just didn't seem to... Was, I don't think it was updating. So then my idea here is we bring this over. Uh, you know what? I'll pick a smaller building to clear out the pasture. That way maybe I'll have a little more control over it. I was thinking about building one of those small cabins. Oh, and if you didn't know this, uh, you know how these guys snap? Let's see if I get this to snap to something here. Uh, we've got fencing right over here. You see how it snaps? If you don't want it to do that, if you hit Z, it turns the snap off. So you can adjust what you need, and then you can get yourself all nice lined up and stuff. And then just Z to turn that off again, and then you get the snap point back. I thought that was a pretty nice little feature, because sometimes, yeah, you do want a little more freedom when you're placing something. Um, okay, so if I do this, what am I going to do down here at the end? Uh, let's go inside a little bit, like so. We've got that little bit of piece right there. I wonder if there's something I can make in a decoration that would work for that. And fill that little gap in right there. I bet there is something I can make in... Ooh, there's the carpentry station too. I've got to remember the carpentry station. Let's take a look in here first. Uh, containers. I was thinking maybe there's a good container that I could put there in that corner and it would just look like it's supposed to be there. Um, hmm. Nothing's really jumping out at me. That The box set is, is another one too, but I don't think that would be good. So wood storage wouldn't be too shabby. Furniture. I just don't want something walking through it, that's all. Buildings, structures, fences... Metal scrap fence. That's an interesting fence right there. Richmond's. Uh, you know, a haystack might not be bad right there. Uh, 30 straws. Uh, you know what? That might not be bad, too. Let's get the 30 straws and let's give it... Oh, wrong spot. Let's go to this one over here. 30 straws. There we go. We got all the straw. And then uh, I wanted to show you guys this, too. I put a straw pile out here. Was messing around with some of the yeah. enrichment stuff. We got a straw pile here, and then I put one there, and then I put a larger one right here at the corner of the barn. And, uh, yeah. 
gives the uh, like yard a little bit more stuff. And as I discover things in the game, I'm going to add, you know, more things here and there. But uh, yeah, I, I like the barnyard. It's nice. I, I enjoy the animals very much. Uh, what am I doing? <laughs> I know. Well, there's one of our geese and one of our chickens. Nope, oh, she's coming back. She's coming back. They gotta come back home, you know. Once the sun starts to go down, they come home and they go to bed. Timber and nails. Inexpensive stuff, too. Kitchen cupboards. Oh, look at this. Oh. You can really set up a nice little kitchen in your house, can't you? You got the bookshelves and stuff. Quite a few different choices in bookshelves as well, I noticed there. I left things open so we can get through, the animals can get through. They all seem, nobody seems to get hung up and they've got enough space. This could be a little bit tight. Uh, I'm, maybe we should do a separate pen for the hogs and let's just leave the, the cattle in here with the sheep. I think they would be pretty good, but get rid of the hogs out of there. Yeah. Let's go um, enrichments and a haystack and let's craft one of those. And can I do one of these guys? Let's craft another one of those. I'll try those out real quick. And let's get you up here and we'll put you down there. We'll try each one of these and see what they look like. I like having our uh, place spread out a little bit. It's good. Because what I'm thinking is I can run a fence off of there. Right off here. And come over and uh, probably go over to here and have the blacksmithy fence come over this direction here. Or you actually take up everything to this road uh, and just make this sort of a stockyard for... If we get an animal for a while, we're not sure where we're going to place it. We could put it here and, and let it be here and at least roam around and be able to see it. You know, something like that going on. Let's go to number five. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, it's sizable, huh? I just got to make sure that they can't walk through it and get out. Hmm. We'll have to see. Oh, that, looks, that looks to me like they're going to be able to do that. Can I pick this guy back up? Oh, need to take. Sorry about that. What about number six? These guys seem to be here. These guys seem to be a little more forgiving and could slide into places better. No, maybe not. Maybe that's just I'm a liar about that one. Try this again. How close can I get to the barn? Not too close. That's as close as I can get right there. Oh, to the fence. Hmm. You know what? Here. That's right. Scarlet. Give it a good old whack. There you go. Inventory. Let's just do this instead. Let's leave the haystack there and we'll come over. Oh, come on. You gotta give that to me, right? No? You're not gonna give that to me. Hmm. It's the haystack. It doesn't like that. Can't get any closer than that right there. What if I split the difference a little bit, maybe more? I think we're good. I think we're good there. All right, so that's going to keep him, them, hopefully inside there, and then we'll start another one right off of here. Yeah, there we go. So this will be a nice little stockyard, huh? We can throw the deer in there and stuff like that, just so we can see them. And then if you've got a good idea as to how to remove the grass, let me know what your idea is. What if I put number six down? Will that make the grass go away? I'll be taking this. No, I'll be taking this. <laughs> She's got all got attitude with her. You hear that? All that attitude? Oh, we need some. Uh, we need some iron. Yeah, I just need to figure that out. Maybe I should go over there and pick up one of those um, grass erasers. I think is what it's called, or something like that, and bring it over here and try it out with you guys, so you can see it. Um, oh, I did the wrong dang thing. Metal, iron. Uh, yeah, we can take it with us. That's fine. Now, I'm pretty sure it's on the anvil, but can I make nails here? No. Okay, good. All right, back we go.
Oh, almost, there's one other thing I want to make sure I show you today. Watch me forget, though. Nails, materials, uh, miscellaneous. There we go, nails. Give me uh, 500 of them. Uh oh, that's a lot of nails. We're covered in the nail department. 500, no, that's good. That's perfect. Okay, that's exactly what I need. All right, and then uh, give me a second. I'll come back. And we'll uh, continue working on something and, and figure out what we're going to do next. But uh, I, I like this idea, having the smithy with a, a nice big barn behind him like that. That works out pretty dang good. And we still have our kind of road area in this area here. Yeah, so I'd remove this grass right in here and leave maybe this patch right here in place. Mm-hmm. Pretty. I like it. Okay. All right. Give me a second. I'll be right back. I'd like to have a gate that's this size, that swings open, so that we could fill in these gaps. Because right now, if I put a, if I put a, you know what in here, a, 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 a door frame or one of these, um, this guy here, the fence gate. There we go. It's gonna cause me a little bit of an issue. Let's see. I'd like you to be kind of right here. I wonder if there's a way I can just do this here and then have... Oh, you know what? Let's, uh... Where is that? Number five. If I come from you over here and come this way, will that give me just enough room to get another fence in here so I don't have to... Looks good there. And then if I put the gate here, that gets it kind of in the door where it's supposed to be. And then I should be able to take one of these guys and put it there instead. There we go. That's okay that the fence goes a little bit past the building back there. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right, that's going to work. There we go. That works just fine. There we go. Beautiful. All right, let's get this taken off. Perfect. Yeah, just like that. And then what we'll do is we'll move this over a little bit. And that should take care of that, number five. We don't have to be quite so worried about where that sits. It's not going to go there. It's uh, number six, and then back to number five. There we go. And then inventory tab. We've got this guy right here. We've got a little more room out front here, so maybe we can put a nice big uh, haystack right here by the, uh, the thing here at the corner. Five, and then six. Got to reset it. Yeah, and then we'll have our we can be able to have our animals back in here. Uh, a nice big space for them, and it gives a nice look too. We need to do we do need to put a torch on that. I think I have what I need to make a torch. Yeah. What are you doing? Oh, I moved you, huh? I moved him. Uh, no. What? Did that just give me an option to... What? Give me the option to pick him up. I tell you, today, man. Everything's acting weird. <laughs> Everything's just acting really weird in the games I'm playing today. Um... Wow, that was just enough to distract me there, too. Oh, I was going to make a torch. We need something out there so we can see. Uh, animal fat, cloth, and a stick. Animal fat, cloth, and a stick. I put this on the barn. That way, as we approach, we'll be able to see it. Go. Awesome. Now, can we go in there with him? Let's see. 
We can. Makes me think that maybe I can build some kind of stalls in this thing. Or is this really just for, like, you know, just boxes upon boxes upon boxes of different storage items that you would put in there? I think we've got a good start here to a nice big uh, pen area. We did a little bit of everything today. I'm sorry about the whole eraser thing. I just screwed it up. I'm a little frustrated, that's all. But otherwise, uh, yeah, this looks nice. I like this. Okay, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man 3 Have an awesome, a fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time.